large question, so I'll leave it to you to answer as you wish. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much for your question. Uh, again, you raised uh, by question about uh, conservation, climate, uh, etc. How many questions were there? Excuse me? <laughs> How many questions were there? Uh, well, he's basically, he's asking the effect of the oceans as well on yours, and what is your position, and how do you handle it? You are landlocked, so you may not... Uh, yeah. Uh, ours is a diversified country. Very, very natural diverse, diversity, uh, geographical, uh, biological, botanical, social, different type of diversities are there. Mountain Everest and other mountains, more higher than 8,000 meters higher than 8,000 meters. There are some 14 peaks, more than 8,000 meters altitude. There are peaks, but we talk about one range, then there are 800 meters, um, 8 mountains, more than 800 meters, 8,000 meters altitude. So it's unique. And similarly there are diversities among the animals, grasses, plants, etc. And animals, species, bar, birds, everything. We are conscious about to protect those uh, animals. We have elephant, rhino, and so on. We have dolphins. Yaks, etc., at the hilly areas. At the mountain areas, we have elephants and yaks, etc., gandas, etc. <laughs> I think whatever will be the verdict of the masses, uh, we will respect the verdict and uh, all the rank and file of our party will uh, respect the decision of the masses. Because uh, from eight years back, we have consistently raised the demand of this election of constituent assembly and all our ranks is quite clear uh, about the uh, about our policy and our plan and i think that any verdict of the masses will be respected if there is a request by the people of nepal to hold a referendum on the future of the king would you support that request no it has already been rejected by our masses time and again it has been discussed uh, in between seven political party and even among um, intellectual and it has been rejected to have a referendum uh, to decide the fate of monarchy. Yes, there is no questions of remaining the monarchy in this country even uh, after the election. Uh, there's been quite a lot of pre-election violence. A lot of it has been linked to some Maoist supporters. Does this come under your command? No, we have not any policy. We are fully committed to have a peaceful election, free and fair election. But there are some incidents and uh, it should be not uh, everybody should have to note that uh, eight of our comrades have been killed by other op party uh, during this uh, election campaign within one month therefore this accusation against our party is totally wrong you know we are the party who, who is um, victimized during this election commission more than one, half a dozen cadres have been killed and we are not going to retaliate it because uh, historical responsibility is, is there to hold the election of constant assembly. Can you guarantee that this country is not going to slide back into civil war if the representation, the seat in parliament, the government that you want is not accepted, is not won? Any verdict of the masses through the election of constant assembly will be respected. We will not reject. We will not go away from this peace process. Even though, that, even though, even though we will be in the minority, even though we we believe that we are we will be in the majority in this election, we we will be in the comfortable majority. Even though we will be in the minority, we will respect the verdict of the masses.